I think the guy behind us is English. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I, I think so, yeah. Okay. Please state your name and uh, where are you from? My name's James Corden. I'm from High Wycombe in England, Great Britain. James Corden. Corden, right, yeah. <laughs> what do you do for a living, James? Uh, I don't do anything at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I, have, uh, I have no Get fixing. Used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Got any, got any plans? Um, not, not as many as I should have, really, but yes. Uh, yeah. When do you take over this show, James? We will start on March 23rd, yes. Oh, unlucky 23rd of March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I just want to say, James, I'm delighted it's you. Um, I'm delighted you're taking over, and I'm very, very sorry for what's about to happen. <laughs> You sure you want to do it? I think it's too late now, Craig, but... <laughs> no, I mean, you're looking good. You're in a good That's fight. because I'm leaving! <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. People, people, are, uh, people are so kind, especially on the internet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I've, I've had some experience of that already. Yeah, yeah. You, you'll be all right. You have some passionate fans. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> He's lovely and smells like biscuits. But that's mostly because I am about 90% biscuits. So that's, that's why. <laughs> That'll be why I smell like that. Really? Yeah. 90% biscuits, you no, say? Yeah. 5% bread, 5% cake. That's pretty much where I'm at. That's exactly my makeup as well. I wonder. <laughs> Did they, uh, did they make you set a citizenship test yet? Uh, no, not yet. There's been no citizenship test. Okay. <laughs> well, I wish you luck. And uh, the first thing you'll have to learn to do is throw to a commercial break. I wonder if you'd be so kind. I'll go over there, and uh, you go and throw to a commercial break. All right? Oh, okay. All right, you ready? <laughs> it'll be all right. It'll be all right. It's fine. I can't wait. It's no, even, even this is making no. my chest very tight. <laughs> It'll, be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, where are you going? I'm just going, going to be. I'm just going to be. I'll no, be right just, here. Okay. I'll be right here. Okay. Don't I worry. I can't breathe. No, no. Okay. Fine. Breathe in, out, in, out. I'm James Cord. Ooh la la. Okay. No, come on. Yeah. We'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Ford. Beautiful things happen when you go further. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
Thank you. Very good. Enough. All right, thank you. All right. So, so that was, that, that, that was great. So when we do it for real, just do it like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was very exciting. Wasn't that exciting? Yeah, very convincing. You were yeah. so convincing. You made my nipples fizz like jacuzzi spigots. Wow, yeah. Yes. That's what Bob, the warm-up comedian... Right. Yeah, that's he what he is. said to them tonight before I came out. He said, get so excited. He said, make his nipples fizz like jacuzzi spigots. <laughs> I was like, all three of them were... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> jacuzzi spigots. Yeah. That's the part of the jacuzzi that delivers the, you know, the pfft, pfft. Yeah, the pfft. Oh, I, I know that part well. <laughs> you make everything sound dirty. Yes, I do. And that's why we're friends. Yeah, that's right. It's a great day for America, everybody. Although, let me... Before we begin, let me uh, start tonight by apologizing for any jokes I have ever made about Kim Jong-un. <laughs> I am terribly sorry. <laughs> Sony has decided not to release a Seth Rogen movie, The Interview. I haven't seen the interview make... I haven't seen an interview make people this angry since what? Since what? The last... Last, what? Time, you, last time you talked to Regis, I think it was? <laughs> was it Regis? Is that one? Yeah, yeah. Are, Are you just... awake? Yeah, I'm here. Man. All right. <laughs> Earlier tonight on CBS, it was the finale of Survivor, but there's still one more person to be voted off of CBS, me. <laughs> <laughs> the tribe has spoken. <laughs> well, it's a great day for Pope Francis. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, Your Holiness. The Pope is now 78, which is uh, old enough to start watching CBS. Boom! Yeah. Take yeah. it! Bam! <laughs> Cardinals in the Vatican threw the Pope a surprise party today. They hid behind his hat. Wow. Because <laughs> he's got a it's big a, hat. It's a big, yeah. Yeah, big yeah, hat. they hid behind his hat. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. They were like, surprise! Yay. He was like, oh, you guys, you're making me crazy. The Pope talks like Dracula. He does. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, even although he's from Argentina, he's like, yes, I'm the Pope, but I talk like Dracula. Stay... Healthy, my friends. <laughs> Stay healthy. Stay, Stay healthy. healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The healthiest okay. Pope. I understand. The White House uh, announced that this is very exciting. The White House announced today plans to begin normalizing relations with Cuba. This at the same time as we are awkwardizing relations with Russia. Mm -hmm. This is a good idea. It, if you'd have told me in the 1980s this would happen, I would have said, I don't care if you've got any cocaine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I That's would true. have said oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently, our relationship with Cuba was made official during a phone call between President Obama and Raul Castro. Oh, Raul. Who also talks like that. He does. Yes, he does. <laughs> but I'm just thinking, be careful, Mr. President. You wouldn't be the first Democrat in the White House to be haunted by something he did with a Cuban. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 <laughs> hey. What happened to the jacuzzi spigot? Yeah, man. What the hell? What happened to that? No, no. Like, we're, we're like a couple of minutes in and suddenly it's, oh, Craig, oh, no. We are sorry we made your nipples fizz because we don't approve of you making jokes about presidents using cigars as... <laughs> Just remember this. It wasn't me. <laughs> Who did anything wrong ever. Hey, you want to take a look at my jacuzzi spigot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like to normalize relations. Yeah. <laughs> That's turning me on, man. Well, you want to be? Yeah. Both, we're both clipped. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All, right, all right. All right. All right. Well, wait. No, what if we're turning into Matthew, Matthew McConaughey? McConaughey. Yeah, no. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. I'll, I'll be Dracula, okay. and you be Matthew McConaughey. Okay, all right, good. All right. I want to suck your butt. Hey, Dracula, that's a great jacuzzi spigot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, it gets a little fizzy sometimes <laughs> when I am excited. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I here? don't... No, here's the thing. Yeah. 
I don't care. Right. And, <laughs> and I never have. No, you haven't, no. But I care even less now. Wow, is that... I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> Amazed I'm still wearing pants on this show. <laughs> like, I could quite happily walk out here completely naked and go, Yeah. Uh, and what would I, what would yeah. I like? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, light up, Mike. You light up. Wait, you think this is bad? You wait till the new guy gets here. He's going to go crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he likes to do the show fully nude. Fully nude, yeah. Oh, he does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that true? I don't know. If I don't know. Let's ask him in, uh, earlier on in the show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Want to do the thing? Yeah, sure. All right. You're watching The Late Late Show. We pre-taped this six months ago and are at this very moment selling used cars in Reseda. <laughs> James Corden lovely. He's a yet. beautiful man. He's, he's a beautiful, adorable. You know, he's adorable. Wait, hold on. Adorable. He hasn't done a show yet. You don't go giving right. him applause. Right. Oh, yes, he's better than you, Craig. Did you notice that already? I saw it, yeah. Yeah, they're all here for you. Not really for you, Craig. Get on, move on, move on. We've moved on, Craig. They don't even know who you are right now. They've they've forgotten already. What about you? Did you did you hit him up for a job? Do you think he's, it's gonna? Oh yeah, yeah. No, we 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 uh, we talked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll be. I'll. No, man. No. no. You no. coming with me? Yeah. You you own me. <laughs> Well, only everything about you. Right, you own everything about me. Absolutely everything. My penis? <laughs> it's not my favorite part, but I yeah. understand. Where is it, by the way? I haven't... I haven't... <laughs> I'm saving it for Christmas. Okay, good. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's straight mail time. Time to take advice from a man who wished he'd make threats against a dictator about three years ago. <laughs> From Andy in St. Louis, Missouri. You ever been there? Yeah, Andy. Yeah, yeah. You've been to Andy? Andy, I've been to Andy. Yeah. How was it? It was. It was all right. <laughs> it's better not be Andy. Oh boy. Hello. Yeah, it's Andy. Uh huh. Okay. All right. I'm still here. <laughs> Andy says, uh, Dear Craig, last night I had a dream I was at a dinner at a casino with you, Mama June, Boo Boo, and Bailey from WKRP in Cincinnati. <laughs> that, that really happened. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. We were there last night. You remember? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah it was yeah, great. Do you, remember, do you remember WKRP? Of course, <laughs> yeah. Who, what would Bailey sound like? <laughs> and Mama June sounds kind of like... <laughs> Yeah, that's how everybody was talking at that, yeah. <laughs> what? You're going to be hanging out with these people a lot more after January, I'll tell you that. All of us together. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, you yeah, know. No. Get together with some people and we can all, like, maybe you know, come up with an idea for an app. Sure, yeah. <laughs> one, one that can translate what those people are saying? Maybe. That's yeah. a good idea, yeah. It's called Leonardo Ding Dong. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> I can't wait to get the hell out of here on Friday. Double tape Thursday. I have no idea what he just said. 
Uh, all right, um, this is from Diane in uh, Helena, Montana, who says, uh, Craig, what are you going to do about things and stuff? Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is from Douglas in Toledo, Ohio, who says, oh. <laughs> uh, This is from Abigail in uh, Wilmington in uh, Delaware. Uh, she sent in a picture of a dreidel. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. I had a little dreidel. Did you? You had a little dreidel? Little dr dreidel? <laughs> I made it out of clay. <laughs> Is that copywritten? Can we say that? I don't know. Can we say that? Uh, we can. I had a little dreidel. It was made out of clay. I got on that way. Can I say that? Yeah. Why can't I say that? Come on. You can't? Why not? No? You said, you said I could say it, and now I can't say it. <laughs> what? Can I, I'm getting mixed messages here. You can't listen. Yeah, you I can't don't understand this. what you're talking about. I don't know what's what the hell is going on. One minute I can say it, next minute I can't say it. You know why? Because you're anti-Semitic. That's, That's right. why. You are. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the hell. Man. I know. I know you're Jewish, but that's not my point. <laughs> yeah. The hell, man. Anyway, uh, Abigail says, uh, Craig, can you offer some words of wisdom to someone who's in the midst of a career change? <laughs> 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 oh. Um, yeah, you know, keep your stick in the ice, you know? <laughs> keep, your, keep your stick in the ice? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a thing Canadians say. Oh, I see, all right. Yeah, they, keep your stick in the ice, eh? Keep it in there. <laughs> you, you keep your stick in the ice. It's a Canadian, it means colloquially, keep your penis in your... <laughs> oh, no, I think what it means is keep your penis in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator, yeah. 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 So, a lot of people at home right now putting their penises in refrigerators. Yeah, they were doing that before this show ever came on. I understand. <laughs> um, and then, oh, it went blue. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, you know, I'm surprised no one's uh, called in from the world of show business from beyond the grave. Uh, from beyond to, uh, the grave? To, yeah, from beyond the grave. You know, people who have passed on. And grown oh, hold on. Hello? <laughs> It's Liberace. Oh, hey! How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm gonna miss your show. I'm so sad you're leaving. What, what's that oodly oodly noise next to you? I don't know, but it feels great. Ah. What the hell is going on over there? Ah, it was Liberace from Beyond the Grave. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Craig. It's Morgan Freeman. I'm not dead. Okay, good. Yeah. I just want to say how much I'm going to miss your stupid show. It really is one of the dumbest. This is Evil Santa, isn't it? Oh, you know it is. <laughs> and right now I've got my penis in the fridge. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Uh, a beautiful woman. She is an astronaut. She is a nuclear physicist. She has her own fragrance. What is it called it's again? It's called Hi, You. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the fragrance. Oh, yeah. Hi, hi you. you. Hi, You. Hi, You. Let's put a new catch. How many shows we got left? Three? Yeah. All right. Th that's our new catch. Okay, race. good. All right. Hi, You. Hi, You. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to take. No, anyway, she's, uh, she's an American treasure. She's a terrific actress. She is, of course, the lovely, beautiful Betty White.
Betty, Betty, Betty. Uh, I gave her, I gave, hi you. I gave away the uh, the stool last night to Angela oh, Kinsey, thank you. but here you go. I thought you, can, you were giving me. Yeah, no, you can have that if you want. It's just a block of wood. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. Okay, and how are you, my dear? Hi you. Hi you. That's our new thing. I know. We've you have so great. many new thing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go on, you know you want to help yourself. I do, I do, I do, I do. So I, I have to leave early. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're doing to help yourself? Yes, I, no, I have to go and find some heavy stuff. No, 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 no. Hey, um. Um? Is uh, oh. Hot in Cleveland ending? Yeah. Hot yeah, in Cleveland is, is our, ending? This is our last season. Oh. But you should know about that. What are you. <laughs> No, I don't mean your last season, but well, it, it last... kind of it, it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, so, yeah. so we're we're treasuring every moment with each other. Yes, I but I've got a feeling we'll both uh, continue to work. I, I hope anyway. Need... I understand. In the meantime, you want to what? Roam the earth? I'm going to I'm going to walk the earth and solve crimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny you should say that because I want to walk the earth and commit crimes. <laughs> Well, that's a great idea. We can work together. We can walk together. I think that's... Now, that, that's going to be... That's a great scam, because you go to the town before me, you commit the crime, I come into town, they're like, oh, here he comes, the guy that walks the earth solving crimes, I'll say, it was Betty White, and they go, take her to jail, and I'll be like, okay, I will, and then I'll take you to, out of the town, and then we'll head to the next town. You don't... I'm, we, we can go all over the world Yeah, we, go, like we, we, can, we can make a fortune doing this, Betty. Yeah. This is fantastic. I know it is, and I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> How long have you no. been... Uh, oh, sorry. No, no, I didn't mean to say I'm ready. I don't want to be pushy. <laughs> how long have you been doing Hot in Cleveland? Uh, hot in Cleveland? Uh, this is our sixth six, year, I believe. Six season? Yeah. I, I, I was on it a lot. Is it because I'm on it that you're not doing it anymore? Is that what it's saying? No, it seems to, it's epidemic in television right now. If I do a show, it's cancelled. That's no, it. No, it, it's just... It, but you're coming back to us, people. I am, yes. I, I, there's a storyline that has to be tidied up, and I'm going to go back and act my... self. Uh, <laughs> well, we're thrilled. I always... I, I, and the only time I never cuss on this show is when you're a guest. Like, it, the actual part when you're being the guest. Yeah, oh, oh not, not like tonight. No, I'm not cussing now, am I? Am I oh, cussing? No, have no. I ever cussed in front of you, Betty? No, no. Have you ever cussed in front of me, Betty? Yeah, no. Yes, you have, <laughs> Betty. No, I have not. Yes, you did. No, I. There's one. There's one. <laughs> <laughs> I remember once you 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 cussed once. I'm not going to tell the story because it's so dirty. <laughs> but it involves Cloris Leachman. Oh. Ah, you remember that story? Oh. Yeah. Oh. No, Cloris. Cloris is wonderful. She's a, she's a great... She, <laughs> she is. She is. She's, uh, she's a pistol. Uh, I mean, wow. Um, yeah, yeah. Fine actress. She is a fine, <laughs> fine actress. And, and also, at times, a pain in the ass. Uh, well... <laughs> but we can all be that way, except you. You're never no, a... Never. Why are you always in a good mood? Are you on some kind of drug? No, no, I'm just, I'm just, uh, nuts. <laughs> so you seem to have a very positive attitude. You're always very, you know, whenever I've worked with you, you're always happy and on time and, and friendly to everyone. And frankly, Betty, you, you make everyone else look bad, and I, I don't care for it. <laughs> but have you ever thought how much easier it is to do it that way than swim upstream all the time and always do something wrong and I have know. to make up for it? I know, that's what I tell the kids today. Yeah. My own kids, you know, I tell them that. They're like, shut up, Dad. We are not interested in being in show business. But they'll, I still tell them it, just in case. Yeah, just in case. I think you should. Yeah. And I don't do that because I don't have any kids. Well, there you are. What about uh, animals, though? You have a lot of animals. Don't oh, you? animals are yeah. my favorite. Animals yes, I know. Animals are my favorite. We got a new baby hippo at the zoo. Lovely. Yes. It, 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 how did it arrive? By uh, birth or? Uh, by birth. All right. <laughs> we well, you know, it could have come from a, you know, hippo factory or something. I don't know. We were patient with him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Is that the baby hippo? That's the baby hippo. Is that adorable? That's little Rosie. Oh, I know. Is there anything cuter than a baby hippo? No. no. 
you know? No, there isn't. But we didn't know Mama was pregnant because she was on birth control. And then, <laughs> and it's a little hard on a hippo to tell if they're pregnant. It just somehow, it's, it's a They kind of look pregnant all the time. Even yeah, the guys yeah, are yeah. like, that's pregnant. Yeah. Uh, that's right. But, I mean, why would you have a hippo on birth control? Was she wildly promiscuous? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was just that uh, we, we weren't ready for another baby hippo. Oh. Um, well, you're going to have to put an extension on the hippo enclosure. <laughs> What's that? Look at that lovely one. <laughs> Is that cute or what? That's very nice. Uh, Have you ever been up? They're dangerous hippos, though. You've got to be careful. Oh, they're, Like, they'll cut you. They're, <laughs> they're one of the most dangerous animals on the one planet. Of the, you know what I've noticed? Uh, really cute animals, hippos, polar bears, dangerous. I know. I but, think that's a mistake. But only if... <laughs> no, I, I love them all because I speak the language. You speak polar bear? I speak polar bear. Ah. Yeah, it'll be a cold night in... No, no. <laughs> But now I, you're going to roam the earth and 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 with a hippo. With a hippo. <laughs> yeah, me and my hippo. Yeah. Me and my hippo. How are you feeling about about do you know this being your last week? Betty, I am crushed. <laughs> I am. No. Yeah, you know what? In, in all honesty, I, I'm kind of, uh, I'm fine. I, I mean, yeah, I, but we can talk. You see, because this way, just between us, we can talk. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So if you want to get anything off your chest, you can. <laughs> or if I want to get anything off my, no, no. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take a tiny break. We'll be right back with Miss Betty White. Talking. There are people here. Yo, they're, they're just in keeping out the rain. I um, I have a surprise for you, Betty. What? Well, first of all, you have to uh, tell me what is your favorite song. Oh, uh, well, I have. Well, this this Christmas. that involves hippos. Uh, what? What is your favorite song that involves hippos? I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Now wait. Now, you can't sing that. Do we, have we cleared that? Oh, she can sing it? Oh, so it's Betty White can sing it. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> because white. Is that what it is? <laughs> because you are a racist. You are a racist. You are a racist. Yeah, so no, I've got a surprise. I know you love the song uh, about the all you want for Christmas is a baby hippo thing. Yeah. That's my favorite song, too. Is it really? Well, Sort of yes, and that, we have a choir. That is here Silent to, Night. Yes, that, no. We have a choir here to sing. So you look behind the curtain. They're there.
Welcome back to the show where we've had the choir and the singing hippo thing, so... I didn't really know what that was about. That was your idea, wasn't it? Well, keep your stick in the ice, everybody. He's a hugely talented man. He's in The Odd Couple coming to CBS in February. He's a great friend of the show. He's an astronaut. He has his own fragrance. It is called... What? <laughs> it's your favourite fragrance. What? Please welcome the great Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. That was that good, was, uh, Thank you very much. That was the whitest gospel choir I've ever seen. Yeah. In my life. <laughs> I have, I have, I, was that gospel? It was more kind of like oodly oodly, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> I dozed off backstage. I woke up. You're dancing with a hippo. Yeah. And Betty White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I well. Some things never change. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you want to do that? You're going to guest host this before James starts, aren't you? Yeah. yeah you, well, you, you should have a, a choir and a hippo. People love yeah. that. Crikey. <laughs> Tested through the roof. Oh man, they're like, yeah, turn the dial up, more hippo, yeah. more, more hippo. Betty White, more hippo. Bring it. Yeah, hippo, Betty White. That's uh, what we want. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, it's a hit. Uh, yeah, I was, I'm gonna. The, you know how sometimes you agree to host something and you don't mean to do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, like ten years ago, I did that. <laughs> You know, you're like, you're texting somebody, you're looking at Twitter, and somebody says, hey, you want to do the Late Late Show? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what happened to me with so the, the choir and the hippo. Yeah. I was like, yeah, fine, good. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's where you... sleep at the wheel. How, how many are you going to do? Three. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Right? Anyone can do three. Right? Yeah, you'll be fine. You know who your guests are yet? No. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Right. <laughs> They're great. Uh, you, do you know Probably what you're going to do? Mostly me. I mean, a lot of times, I've been on the show a lot of times. Yeah, but like, what uh, people like don't 50, know, six. Something like that. What people don't know is that most of the time it's because somebody else fell through. <laughs> well, it's the reason why I got the show, let's be honest. <laughs> I just live close by. Yeah, you do. Yeah. That's very I handy. live at the Grove. People don't know that. <laughs> in Santa's house. <laughs> That's not true. I have, a, I have a condo in the American Girl Cafe. <laughs> not endearing yourself to the American public right now, Tom. <laughs> oh... So, are you excited about hosting? Not really, no. Oh, I do. <laughs> Why not? It'll be great. Right. Yeah, it'll be fun, right? Yeah, do a Scottish accent. Yeah. All right, all right. It's been a great time. Oh, it's been a great time. <laughs> oh, good. You got it. You got it. It's been a great time for the rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> We're not all pirates, you know. <laughs> Some of us are. Mm, I love your Peaky Blinders haircut. It's incredible. Oh, yeah, you like the hair? Yeah, yeah. I'm going for a kid and play sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're a vegetarian with the Morrissey haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going completely Morrissey. You're a Morrissey fan, aren't you? Ugh, I'm yeah, going totally fun. Morrissey. That's fantastic. Yeah, are you? So great. I, you know, I'm, I'm waning it out, but I'm, I not, I'm not a complete vegetarian. But I'm so you're not. Phasing yeah. it. No. Well, you, you know, you just either you are or you're not. Yeah, that, so right? I'm not. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah. But you're thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So are you uh, a bisexual? Everybody, I'm. I, <laughs> that haircut, you and me. Kind of thinking about it, right? <laughs> we go to newly opened Cuba. Mm, us in our trunks. <laughs> going to Cuba. <laughs> I like Latin. that song. Did he sing that song? <laughs> I'm in our trunks, going, going to Cuba, high fiving on the beach, yeah, playing yeah, volleyball, playing volleyball with, with communists. All each other because <laughs> SPF is important. SPF is important. Oh wow, it got. It got Turned really, into a PSA. It got moment. really yeah. erotic there for a second. No, no, no. I was, I was protecting you from. Don't you wear uh, sunscreen? You I'm a that. big sunscreen. Look how pale I'm. Whiter than that gospel choir. <laughs> Nope, nothing's whiter than that gospel choir. 
Ah, good times. Great, man. great good times. times. Oh, the odd couple. Are it's... you playing uh, Felix? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Obviously. probably. You know, it's interesting. When I got, I got cast as Felix, uh, everyone in my whole life uh, came out of the woodwork and said, oh, perfect. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, when I heard you were doing it, I was like, yep, that's the one, Ugh. yeah. That one. That's the one he's been waiting for. Yeah. That's the actor and the part come together in a kind of... <laughs> I didn't know that I'd been sort of quietly annoying everyone in my entire life. Ah, but we still... For forever. No, 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 no. Hmm? But we love you. That's the thing about Felix. He's annoying, but you can't help but love him. And exactly. that's you, Tom. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no, you don't agree? What? Keep your stick in the fridge. <laughs> Keep good that you, stick man. in the fridge. Looking good, man. Looking good. You too, Jeff. Looking good. I'm not going to be there for your guest show, so uh, <laughs> good luck. You know, <laughs> you need, <laughs> you're going to need to uh, get fancy socks. You can't be coming in. No, I know. Look oh, at yeah, this. you gotta, you got to have socks like this. Oh, fancy yeah. talk shows. But you, you bought those yourself. The show can't pay for no, those. No, they didn't pay for them. I, the I, have that kind I of made them. I made oh, them. Oh, you knitted them. I have to pass time in my cell between <laughs> shows. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit in there and then they wheel me out. Yeah, go, do go, it, go, comedy, do it, do it now. And I'm like, do oh, it, monkey, monkey, do it, monkey, monkey. Get, get the hose. Uh, yeah. Don't make me get the hose. Oh, that's, that's what they say. <laughs> yeah. It does the talk show where it gets the hose again. The hose. Yeah. <laughs> They're great socks. Yeah, they are good socks. Yeah. They are good socks. I think you'd be great at this. I don't think so. Yeah, I think you'd be we'll fine. See. It's only three, right? Yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. people are still going to be talking about the choir thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fine. Well, we're, we're out of time, Tom. Uh, what can I say? I Nothing. We're out of time. No, uh, oh, wait. I do want to say something. What? I love you. I don't care who knows it. I love you too, Tom. Thanks, I think you're going to be great at this. Tom Lennon, everybody, Tom <laughs> Do you want to say goodnight? No, no, you do it. <laughs> no, you do it. <laughs> Thanks so much. No, 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 no! <laughs> he dropped me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it again. Try it again. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, no, do it again. Thank you. No! Yeah. <laughs> slow down, slow down. Okay. Well, that's all we got time for. Oh, we don't have! <laughs> we don't have enough time. Okay. Mikey wanted 25 seconds in this segment. Yeah, what are we at right now? Oh, hour and a half. Okay. <laughs> James Corden, everybody, we gotta go. Good night, good night, good night.